Welcome back once again. Sorry. Uh, this is second like uh, part two of my comic con uh, comic con episode. Here we go. A bunch of comics here. Uh, graphic novels, by the way. This here, Dragon Cookies. Great, great, great. My friend did this. Uh, must have seen comics. Great, great, great. Kung Fu action. If you guys remember, Enter the Dragon. Uh, you know, a lot of Bruce Lee movies, um, Jim Carrey stuff. I mean, y'all guys will love this book. I mean, I'm telling you. If you haven't got it yet, please pick it up. Please, please, please. I mean, it's a great, great series. I mean, I love that. I could read this over and over again. All right. Before I got rude really into what my last one, Tenshimoto. Now, this is a great, great manga book. I, I only have this one, unfortunately. I know there's others. And I also have the Superman here, the Avengers of Superman, with him dressed up as Santa Claus, something like that. Well, it's a great, great book. Uh, damn, my plastic's fucking up. Ugh, um, we had to get a new backboard for this. Uh, anyway, but uh, this is based on the, uh, the the manga came out first, and then the series came out, the TV show. So if you guys, uh, I'm also looking for the TV show as well. So if you guys could you know, hook me up, you know, that'd be great. It was a great, great, great show. Anyway, um, Girls of Terror X. What more can I say about this? It's a great, great book. Unfortunately, it has some naughty bits in it. It's an adult book. It's not made for children. So, uh, it's a great book, though, honestly. And this is a Dojin book right here. Uh, you guys know what Dojin is. Then, you know, you pretty much know. I don't have to explain. <laughs> but, uh, here we go here. Spawn 1. Yes. Spawn issue number 1. I believe it's in great, great condition. I haven't... It looks okay. It doesn't look that bad. I was gonna sell this, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I have that in Spawn 2. Spawn 2 is in worse condition. I'm sorry. I just had to put it out there. I just like my Spawn, so... But anyway, I have Spawn 1 right here. In the plastic. Ready to go. I mean, it's not a little creaks in here, I don't know, but, uh... That's how a vote the Spawn fan I am. Green Lantern Secret Origins. Great, great, great book. Um my cousin gave me this book and uh, I read it. It's a great I really like the Green Lantern series. I wish the movie was more like the book, because the movie sucked ass. But I'm telling you this is a great, great book and you guys need to check this out. If you haven't, please do. You got one thing is in the kitchen. You got one book is in the kitchen. I'm doing something right now. Yeah, yeah, that's all that came. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. That's what happens in live TV. Um, anyway. Uh-uh. Robotech 2, The Sentinels. I brought this way back in the days. I mean, this. I'm still looking for the, the cartoon that's kind of based on this, but does this character is in the cartoon? Because I don't know. I remember this cartoon, but I don't. This book is awesome, though. I love the book. I mean, if you guys hit me up, let me know what's up with this. Because I don't know if there's any more issues. You guys let me know. And this Cybercom thing, uh, I don't know. Somebody even gave me this. This first issue of this. This was pretty good. A little Bumblecomb Crisis type suit here. Great, great, great book. Now, you guys may kill me for this, but I am a great Smallville fan. I have Smallville DVDs over there as well. Uh, this is not a book. I just like the cover here. This is a TV guide. Kind of kept it because, you know, kind of, you know, you see Lon and Clark together. So I kind of like like that. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, Amazing Spider-Man came out. So, yes, eventually I have Spider-Man 2099 here. And, yes, for those of you who don't know what Spider-Man 2099 is, it's Spider-Man in the future. And it's a great, great book. Uh, this is the first issue here. Mainly in condition. And this is Spawn book. Oh, I'm sorry, the book's kind of messed up here. But you no, know, I always kept it. I always kept my childhood alive. But it's a great violent series. I mean, this is Spider-Man in Dark Ages. I mean, if you guys saw the Amazing Spider-Man, thought that was dark. This is more darker. But anyway, uh, put that there. This is Brocade, um, issue number one here. Uh, this is a great, great book. I mean, if you guys like X-Men... Stuff like that. It's pretty much an image book, so you don't pretty much know what that's about. And I also have Sleepwalker here, which is uh, pretty cool. I like the cover here. I kind of poked up the eyes. 
you know, the, 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 you know, when you, Halloween, you know, you can dress up, but you can just put your eye in the, the book, but whatever. But it's a great book. I also have the other Brigade here, I'm not sure. This is the first, now this issue right here is the first, first issue of Brigade. The other one is the first issue of Blood Brothers, that's another series. This one here is the first, first, up. I mean, first issue of Brigade. So, you know, you guys like uh, Rob Lee Phil's work with X-Force and X-Men. You guys will love this book. And this is uh, Girls of Terror X. Again, uh, Alien Encounter. I uh, guys may like the pose there, what she did. But it's basically not, this book is not for kids. So, uh, you buy this. Don't, don't, don't let your kids read this. This is a great, great, this is a great book, though. It's a great, great book. And I want to get more. I want to get more. 